I've got it going, or they've got it going. I've not done anything to it. Wow. 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 A lot of these guys don't have any sponsors. They're self-funded. Those that do might have a friend or a family member bung them a few quid to have a sticker on a car. You know, each rally can cost a month's wages, and if things go wrong, it can cost a lot more than that. It's not turning in brilliantly, but I think the new tyres more scrubbing in a bit. But to be interesting, having new tyres on, there, you know, everybody says, you like having new tyres on. I've been following a handful of these drivers, just me and my camera, uh, trying to document and show people what grassroots rallying is really like. The dark winter nights, welding, buying tyres, entry fees, replacing expired equipment. Uh, we had a problem with the rear brakes. Well, they've located some discs and parts, but I'm struggling for calipers. Sam forgot to, Sam did it. Obviously they've done half a stage or a whole stage with the back brakes seized on, melted the seals in the calipers, hence we can't run any rear brakes. The worry at Melbourne was gone out and, and thrown in a ditch. This is a bit of a running theme, the car keeps spinning out. Good. Yeah, slippy. Very, very slippy. And they don't get any prize money for this. Yeah. If they're lucky, they might get a trophy. But most of them go home empty handed. It's gonna be good. <laughs> I only saw three rolls. You know, there's a lot of money involved, there's a lot of time involved, there's a lot of prep work involved. And then we've got to do it all over again, just for the love of rallying.